Story 13, Touching the Tiger, Part 1. One day, a zookeeper discovered that the tiger in the zoo wasn't eating his food. What could be wrong? Just a day ago, the tiger was eating chickens happily. Now, the tiger was having difficulty eating anything at all. The zookeeper decided to see Dr. Wong. He wanted the doctor to find out why the tiger had stopped eating. After watching the animal for a while, Dr. Wong told the zookeeper that the tiger had something stuck in his throat. What should we do? asked the zookeeper. We have to do a surgery on the tiger, the doctor answered. You mean that we have to open the tiger's mouth to get the thing out? asked the zookeeper, his eyes wide with fear. Yes. But how? the zookeeper wondered. The doctor said that he had to give the tiger a special needle to put him to sleep. Then he could use tools to take the thing out of the tiger's throat. It was scary. The zookeeper had never even touched the tiger before. Now, the doctor wanted to put his hand into the mouth of the beast? There was another problem. The doctor didn't know how much medicine to use for a tiger. If he didn't use enough medicine, the tiger might wake up before they finished the job. If he used too much, the tiger might never wake up. Dr. Wong carefully calculated the amount of medicine needed for the weight of the tiger. Then he gave the tiger the needle. When the tiger went to sleep, the doctor and his assistants worked quickly. They opened its mouth and used some tools to get down deep into the tiger's throat. Fifteen minutes later, they found a chicken bone and removed it. A little while after the surgery, the tiger woke up and started eating again. <laughs>